What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. How about those rays, huh? Yeah, I was a bit worried they were going to get hit with the Man Ray Shrink Ray uh, playing in front of their full crowd for the first time in, well, over a year. Uh, but, you know, Brandon Lau putting on a show, uh, putting cocks to throats, hitting two home runs. Uh, watch out is all I got to say. If Brandon Lau is going to hit above 100, uh, the MLB is in trouble. Um, so the Rays are in it for now. Finest is all but guaranteed to be coming in real hot right after the postseason concludes, and it's also almost all but guaranteed to be, uh, you know, a part of Team Affinity, being that we're going to have a lot to go through, and we'll talk about that in just a sec, but first, leave a like down below. Oh, what a grand idea from uh, old Gomes here. Subscribe to, even better idea. Make sure to do that. Don't miss a video. Uh, getting into this one now. So, uh, the finest program, of course, from last year, we saw 30 plus cards. We saw one for every team, and they were a lot fucking better than we have seen from years past. And uh, I think what they're going to do this year, I think it's going to work very similarly. Uh, I think, as you can see from the clue here for the 10th inning program, uh, we're going to start to see some on the 30th. Can't up. Uh, can't talk about it yet. Uh, not sure what other secrets they could be holding. Perhaps they obtain the rights to Boof Bonzer, and that's the big surprise. Don't think so. Uh, it is likely going to be finest and likely going to be some of the locks that we're going to see there. Of course, last year we saw... I don't know, it was like 20 some shit uh, amount of locks or select and then all the rest, all 30 teams had a voting process. There was three different cards to choose from. Everybody got a chance to vote on the show nation and bada bing, bada boom. Uh, they came to us through packs. Don't think it's going to be packs. It's, it's going to be team affinity. Uh, but here are my lock predictions again. You're going to have to realize there's a lot of things that go into this being cards that already have high rated cards. Might not get another one, so I'm just going to come in real hot. Uh, we have GT Riumino, who probably doesn't deserve it as much as Salvador Perez does, but he'll probably get it. Let's just hope he gets a fucking contract extension, right, Philly fans? Uh, DJ LeMayhew, Jose Ramirez, uh, Manny Machado, Corey Seager. Uh, if he doesn't get a postseason card, of course, then maybe uh, Tim Anderson or Trevor Story. Uh, Juan Soto Acuna. Azuna, um, Justin Bieber, Trevor Bauer, Jacob deGrom, Denilson, the Met, uh, Garrett Cole, and John Smoltz, and then for the relievers, Nick Anderson, the Minnesota baby, uh, Liam Hendricks, and Devin Williams. Those are my lock predictions. Um, obviously, are those going to be all right? Obviously. It's Golden's predicting. Have I ever gotten a goddamn thing wrong? I don't think so. Let's get into this shit. So, starting with the Orioles, the three cards I think are going to be the ones that we can vote from. And uh, these are going to blow you away. Trust me, it is the Orioles after all. I'm going to say uh, Jose Iglesias, Anthony Santander, and then uh, maybe Michael Givens. You're not going to see him here because he's not on the Orioles anymore. I don't really know. Maybe it's going to be Mount Castle. Uh, usually we see a pitcher, at least one into the three to vote from. The pitcher never fucking gets it because nobody wants relievers at least for voting process, but everybody needs relievers. Uh, zero IQ, I swear. Of course, that's not you guys doing that. You are all high-ranking intellectuals, because only smart people watch me. Um, moving on, Xander Bogarts, Alex Verdugo, and uh, probably Christian Vasquez. Uh, needless to say, they don't have too much uh, pitching prowess, not too many options to go with there. Maybe Nathan Evaldi. Uh, of course, Tanner... Hulk had a good season, but he already, uh, already has a card, so have to uh, find a perfect balance right there. For the Yankees, the ones that I think are going to have a shot, I don't know if Stanton's going to get a card for the postseason, uh, so I'm just going to say uh, Chad Green, plus him and Judge already have Hormone Derby cards. I'm going to say Chad Green, uh, then Luke Voigt, and then Clint Frazier. Are those going to be right? Who knows? Um, but those are going to be my predictions. Let me know in the comments section, of course, as we keep uh, coming on with this, who you guys want to see, who you guys would vote for out of the three that I list. Uh, for the Rays here, you know, so many options. You know, they have so many great players, so many well-known superstars. Um, but I'm going to say Brandon Lau is going to be one of them. Again, postseason MVP maybe. So, might have to forego his chance at a finest card. Uh, then otherwise... Glass now has a chance, but I think it's going to be Lau Adamas or Pete Fairbanks. I really hope Pete can get a card. Uh, he's been pretty goddamn good, so I'd like to see him get some love. The Blue Jays, notorious for having the most shit, the most putrid 
Team Affinity could be good. Could be Teoscar, could be uh, uh, Lordish Guriel, or it could be Hinjin Ryu. Uh, so either of those options would be pretty cool with me. Uh, for the White Sox, again, they have a lot of great players. A lot of them already have great cards. For example, Jose Abreu already has a 97. G Lito already has a 99. So how do you really manage this? I'm going to say Aloy, Tim Anderson, if he's not a lock, of course. And then um, Alex Colomay, a 73, up for a reliever of the year. A good fucking job of the ratings, SDS. Indians, well, it's not going to be a hitter. Um, going to be a pitcher. I'm going to say probably Zach Plesak, Brad Hand, uh, maybe Tristan McKenzie. He already has a top style card, but again, uh, clearly, uh, Jose Ramirez is going to be a lock, so uh, I don't think they had anybody else that had a OPS of above 750, so good shit. For the Tigers, uh... I don't know, man. <laughs> asking somebody if they're excited. Uh, for the Tigers, Team Affinity is like asking them if they're excited for their hernia exam. No, Mom. I am not looking forward to Dr. Sins touching my balls. I, I don't know. Uh, Willie Castro, Jose Cisnero, or Heimer Candelario. A lot of great options there, obviously. Um, moving on to the Royals, uh, you would think the same, but they actually have a couple pretty good cards, potentially. Maybe it's Mikhail Franco, um, but I hope it's going to be either Josh Stalmont or it's going to be... Uh in Christ, where the uh, Jesse Hahn again, they really are great at doing their ratings. Jesse Hahn, one of the better relievers this year, only a 68, of course. Moving on to the Twins, I have no fucking clue because their offense was so dog shit outside of Nelson Cruz this year. They don't really have many options. Eddie Rosario, maybe, uh, I guess, um, maybe it's going to be Matt Weisler. Uh, or Nelson Cruz, but I don't know how that's possible unless they make him have 60 speed. You can't move his offense up that much more. Uh, moving on to the Angels, they have a couple clear, uh, clear cut shots, uh, that being Anthony Rendon, uh, Dylan Bundy, and uh, probably David Fletcher would be the ones I'd expect. Again, Trout, I don't think it's going to happen being that he already has a 99. Uh, for the A's, I'm hoping it's Jake Diekman. Really, uh, really not sure even where Jake Diekman is here. Uh, he's right there, of course. Uh, of course, BR legend, MLB the show legend in general, would like to see him back again. Otherwise, maybe JB Wendelkin or Matt Olson. Uh, please vote for Jake Diekman, all I have to say. Um, for the Mariners, uh, probably Marco Gonzalez is a pretty sure one. Uh, otherwise, I'd say maybe Kyle Lewis or Dylan Moore. Uh, almost done with the AL here. Uh, for the Rangers, uh, they have a couple... Uh, it's probably going to be Lance Lynn. Uh, probably not many other questions about that. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Joey Gallo. Good thing they're hosting the World Series this year because... Probably going to be 50 fucking more years until they get to another one. Uh, let's just hope uh, they can make a better route to the ball this time. Uh, for the Astros, probably going to be Kyle Tucker, Christian Javier, or Brooks Raley. I would assume it's going to be one of those members. Uh, finally, into the NL, we have the Braves, who I think Freeman's a lock. So is Ozuna, and so is Acuna. We just got an Albies. Chrysler, it's the Braves. It's... Atlanta Diego Studios, of course. Uh, so I think Dansby Swanson, AJ Minter, or Chris Martin probably have the best shot. A lot of relievers right there. Uh, for the Marlins, I'm going to say either Miguel Rojas, Garrett Cooper, or... I don't know, Pablo Lopez. Again, really good stuff there. Probably going to be an end game type card for the Marlins team affinity. Uh, for the Nationals, I'm going to say uh, as Drupal Cabrera and Tanner Rainey or Jan Gomes, and for the umpteenth goddamn time, no, uh, I did not name my channel after a career 720 hitter, so stop fucking uh, accusing me of doing so. For the Mets, they have a couple good options, uh, for a card, of course, not for winning, because they can't seem to do that. Uh, we have Seth Lugo, uh, who I think is pretty sure going to be one of the three. McNeil just got a card, of course, so I'm going to say... Conforto, who also already has a card, or probably Dominic Smith, could be Edwin Diaz. You know, for all the shit talking he gets, uh, pretty damn good season right there for him. Uh, moving on to the Phillies, we're looking at a couple guys that, again, already have cards. Nola has the 97 tops now. It could be, was really good this season if JT does not get the lock, if they somehow go 
without bias and give it to Salvador Perez possible. Um, but I think Reese Hoskins has a good shot, uh, as does Alec Bohm, uh, who does, of course, have his future star card, but uh, might be the rookie of the year in the National League, at least in one's opinion. Cubs' Jason Hayward is probably their best shot at an offensive card, uh, which actually doesn't sound as bad as one might think. You Darvish could get a lock, too. Uh, he already has a good card, but it's kind of different as far as repertoires go. A lot different pitcher than he was with the Rangers, especially giving up walks. And then, I don't know, Dan Winkler, maybe. I really hope <laughs> they use this same picture for his finest card. Because good, that is nightmare fuel. That will keep you up at night. Do not let that sick bastard within five miles of a school. Christ, that's a scary looking face. Uh, for the Reds. Maybe Moustakis, he wasn't that great this year, but I don't know. Offense wasn't too productive. Uh, could be Raziel Iglesias. I think Castillo's definitely going to be one of them. Bauer, of course, I have as a lock. And then maybe Amir Garrett, who really had a good season as well. Uh, for the Brewers, good lord, it's not, an, it's not a hitter, of course. I'm going to say Josh Hader, um, Brandon Woodruff, or Jed Jerko. I bet you're jerking off at the thought of Jed Jerko finest card, huh? For the Pirates, I hope really it's Cabrian Hayes. He didn't get a chance to play much, uh, but the other options would be Colin Moran. Probably don't have to say much more there. Uh, the Cardinals, again, they're going to have no really good hitter options since Goldschmidt already has a good card. Uh, so I'm going to say Gallegos is one option, Dakota Hudson. And maybe Harrison Bader, again, not too great for the Diamondbacks. Uh, much the same, it's going to be probably either Zach Gallen or Merrill Kelly. Uh, maybe Cole Calhoun, but he already has a 94 overall card. Moving on to the Rockies, uh, Blackman, maybe, he already has a 96 though. Uh, for as much of a hitting ballpark cores is, they really didn't do a good job hitting this year. Arenado regressed quite substantially. Uh, Herman Marquez, I think, is pretty sure to be one of the three. And then Story, if he doesn't get a lock, is probably going to be in the Mega Mix 2. Now, for the Dodgers, we have, of course... Um, probably Tony Gonsolin and Will Smith and maybe alongside Jake McGee. Don't really know. It's tough to say with them in the Rays because they are still playing. They're still getting cards, potentially. Um, it's not going to be Mookie Betts, though, because they're just never going to release Mookie Betts cards. They have a vendetta against him, apparently. For the Padres, uh, I think Machado is going to be a lock, so uh, as well do I think Lamette. So probably Will Myers uh, or Jake Cronenworth or Eric Hosmer or Drew Pomerantz. One of those mix I think is pretty sure to be likely. Then for the Giants, the finale, uh, probably Yastrzemski, Kevin Gosman, or uh, Alex Dickerson would be my picks. Maybe Brandon Belt, but I really don't want to see a single first baseman in finest this year. I can't stand it. They had, I think, almost half of the Team Affinity 3 cards were first baseman, at least in the American League. So can we curb the three spot? Can we curb the first baseman for this stage? SGS, that would be much appreciated. Um, and yeah, that's... Uh, pretty much it. A uh, lot to go through there, a lot to decipher, um, but we went through 90 different options plus lots, so yeah, long video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. Let me know what you guys think as far as uh, find us goes, and hopefully after Friday, we should get a actual date uh, for Team Affinity Stage 4 and find us ensuing. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. There it goes, out. Yeet.